All you need is an idea, and Nango Edge takes care of the rest. The next step is to head over to edge.nango.ai and make your idea a reality. Once you're logged in, a tour will show you everything you need to know, from data sets and network configurations to training and deployment, but we'll skip it for now and get right into it. Let's say I want to make a hands-free, voice-controlled fan for my workstation so I can stay cool and focused. The first thing I'll do is select a dataset. I have a dataset with the commands up, down, on, and off on my hard drive, which I'll quickly upload to Nengo Edge using the Upload New Data button. Once this is uploaded, I'll create a name dataset with this new data for training a network. We'll give it a name, select our keywords. And there are also some dataset properties available here, but the defaults work well for most applications. Now we can see our new data set, and in fact we didn't need to upload our own data because the speech commands data set available through Nango Edge already has these keywords. In any case, we'll head back to the runs page and start training. First we'll create our new project, and next we'll create a specific run using our desired configuration. Just choose the desired hardware. The most recent data set is automatically selected, but you could choose a different one here if you like. Since we're doing a new project, we don't have any initial weights, but if you're fine-tuning, you can start with some pre-trained weights to cut down on training time. Next, we'll choose our neural network architecture from a drop-down list of predefined networks that are known to have excellent performance on time series data like speech, using our unique Legendre memory units. The default training parameters are known to provide excellent performance, so the only change I'll make is to enable our proprietary hardware-aware training to more closely match deployment. Next, we have some more data set properties, but again, the defaults are good, so we'll leave them as is. And that's it. Now we click Optimize and let Nango Edge take care of the rest. This brings us to the progress page where we can see our application training in real time. We don't need to sit here though. We can create new data sets or new runs and come back and see progress anytime with Nango Edge working in the background. Now that our training is complete, we can look at results and begin deployment. Here we can see a breakdown in performance with accuracy and streaming metrics, as well as speed and size. But for now, let's move on to testing and deployment. We can record live audio to test the network by clicking Start Recording, Down. Now send this clip to the device to test inference. Once you're satisfied with the performance, you can download the model as just the weights or directly download the compiled binary application ready to be deployed. Up, down, on, off. And there you have it. We went from an idea to an edge device with just a few clicks. I've taken the compiled binary from Nengo Edge and loaded it onto my personal device, where it's classifying audio in real time. Now I can connect this to my fan and control it hands-free.